In this video, we're going to talk about pediculosis, which is lice. So, first of all, there's, there's basically two types of lice. Okay, the first one we call pediculosis humanus, which means it's going to affect humans. Capitis, and if you think about where you put a cap on your body, you put it on your head, and itis. So it's inflammation of the head here. Humanus is, is the fact that it's going to affect humans. Pediculosis tells you the species of this, which is, which is lice. So this is basically head lice. It affects the head. And then the second one is pediculosis. Humanus. Porous. All right, and this is body lice. And then you've got some other subtypes that can affect other parts of the body, but these are the ones that we're going to be talking about here. Now, of these two, this is the one that's harmful, so this can be harmful. It can actually be deadly, and I'm going to explain that in a minute. But first, before we do, let's talk about um, how you get this. The way that you get body lice is body lice is easily transferred by contact. I'm sorry, I keep saying body lice. This goes for both of these, lice. Is easily transferred by contact. Okay, um, the thing about lice now is it requires blood. It, eat, it feeds off of uh, blood. And it has to feed several times a day. So it requires blood from the host. In this case, that host is a human. And so it feeds several times a day. per day. This line means per, right? Okay, people usually don't know they have this until they start itching. I should say they start scratching. Okay, and so why do they scratch? The scratching is due to when the lice eats, it, it kind of drools and leaves saliva on the skin, which irritates the skin, which causes people to start itching. So the itching, the itching is due to the skin becoming sensitive to saliva from the lice. So it becomes sensitive to the saliva from the lice.
Now, lice is a plural term. The singular term is louse. So the female louse, louse the female louse lays eggs, and the eggs of, a, of lice are called nits several times a day. And the eggs are attached to hair shafts. Okay, and the reason it does this, um, Okay, attached to air shafts because, or actually, it's going to be close to the scalp. Because of the fact that the scalp is warm, close to the scalp, because of the warmer temperatures, And so therefore, the scalp acts like an incubator, the warmth of the scalp. Warmer temperatures, which act like an incubator. Okay, and then what's gonna happen is as the hair grows, as the hair grows, the egg moves away from the scalp or the knit. Okay, so it's going to move away from the scalp. Now, what's interesting is in the United States, In the U.S., white people are more likely to get lice than black people. Okay, and the reason being is because of the shape of the hair shaft. All right, this is because, wait, I'm gonna put it down here. This is because the lice have adapted to the cylindrical, that cylindrical means like it's round, it's like a tube. Let me see if I can make this E a little bit better. Cylind the cylindrical shape of the hair shaft. And because there's more white people in the United States, they have adapted to this shape of the hair shaft. Okay? Now in Africa, they have more black people and the, the hair is not cylindrical. In Africa, the opposite is true. Because there's more black people in Africa.
Okay, so white people, there's more white people in the U.S., so they have lice have adapted to the cylindrical shape of the hair. And in Africa, it's the opposite. There's more black people.